Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we're checking out the Master Box NR400 case by Cooler Master. We're gonna do a, a really simple build on here. And uh, we're gonna fast forward and watch me build. This actually has a glass window on the side. Right, this goes right here. Well, yeah, this goes right here, like so. And we're going to build this beautiful box. We are using the Prime, the ASUS Prime B560MA motherboard for this build. And we're using the HD5450 video card for this build. We're also using the Core i3 uh, 10100F for this build. We are also using the MX500 500 gig hard drive for this build. And 16 gig of 3200 megahertz T-Crate memory. ASUS DVD-ROM drive, believe it or not. This does have one port, one five and a quarter inch port on the front, which we are using for this, because the client actually requires it. And we're using the EVGA 500 watt power supply. Let's get going. DVD ROM drive in now. Okay, now we're installing the video card because we're using the Core i3 10100F. Doesn't have any GPU built into it, so we're installing one now. Now we're installing the team group 16 gigs of RAM. All right, so now all the hardware is done. Well, this part of it. Still have to install the power supply, the hard drive, and then we're good to go. All right, now we're gonna install the hard drive. Now the hard drive has really cool in the case, it has a really cool location where it can actually be put, which is right here. And you can put in rubber grommets in here and then slide the hard drive through this and it's really nice installed. Like so, there's four there. Comes with a whole bunch of them. You can, you can set up two hard drives here. So, there we go, like that. It slides right into place. Now the Hard drive connectors are right here. Say the power we're gonna bring up from the bottom in the back and make this a really nice clean install with very, very little wires. Let's continue. All right, now we're gonna be installing the EVGA 500 watt power supply. This is, this is a really nice case because it's actually hidden in the bottom. And it's actually out of sight, out of mind. And you don't see any of the beautiful wires. <laughs> Here because they're protected and, and invisible. So this is a nice case if you're doing a micro ATX build. I actually recommend this case a lot. Even though I'm using this for, for corporate use, it can accommodate a full-size video card in this bad boy. So if you want to make a, you know, a small gaming computer, this case can do it. Let's continue. And then we're going to do a close-up shot of, uh, of this how beautiful the wiring is. Let's continue. So if you're anal and you want to zip tie all this stuff, I guess you could. But remember, it's going to be hidden behind the, by the door. And once you put this together, you're never going to see it ever again. So you have a choice of zip tying all this and making it look pretty on the inside, but you're never going to see it anyway. So I say, why bother? Unless you're anal retentive and you want to make everything nice and clean and neat 
but we could just simply push all this stuff in like so and watch it disappear and it magically disappears you don't have to waste your time zip tying all that because now it's gone see it doesn't matter then we take this put it on top and now we can put this back on and we're ready to do software installation and look at that how pretty we leave the uh the protective glass covering on until we're ready to do the installation then we peel off and let the customer have that awesome feeling of peeling that plastic off because that is always exciting to do to make it look beautiful on the inside since this is not my machine this is going to a client and there you have it folks micro ATX this is an office build and that is it and there is the NR400 my micro ATX case quick build of a Core i3 10100F. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care and we'll see you next time.